Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and well, this is a little midweek bonus video. I have two packages all the way from Australia from different people. Uh, the top one is from Jai, and the second one is from Funky Monkey. Now, um, I do have a confession to make. I started opening out of ex excitement um, the package from Funky Monkey, and uh, then I realized, oh no, I should really do this on video. So I, I stopped, but I did see one of the locks, um, but I will try to feign some form of surprise. <clears throat> Bear with me, but but this one uh, from Jai, I think, uh, I also know what that is, but I haven't seen it yet, I haven't seen it in action. So uh, let's just have a bit of a look at this. So, um, yeah, let's open the first one up. This one was sent to my uh, PO box, and there's been a lot of postal strikes on recently, so um, I was a bit worried this it wouldn't arrive. But it did, um, and and uh, if you didn't know I have a PO box, I do it's in my uh, about section on my YouTube channel. If you want that address, uh, ah. ah, there we go. Right here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I just checked that that's everything in the bag. Yes, it is. So this is. Well, can you see from this key? This is a key. What type of lock this is? This is a 3D printed um, disc detainer lock, and it's got some surprises in there as well, I believe. So I don't know um, much about this. I need to really properly explore it before I can tell you about it. Oh, just had all my uh, lights go out. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, so um, oh, and it's a, a full double shackle release. Okay, I've got you. So yeah, there is a way to disassemble this. I'll have a look at this and I'll explore it, and I might do a video on this one separately. Um, so, Jai, thanks for sending this. It is safe. Um, if I can do a video on this at some point, I will do. But otherwise, um, yeah, this is a, a 3D printed dissertainer from Jai, and apparently it's unpickable, but we'll have a little exploration of this maybe at another time. So, yeah, this is a package from Funky Monkey. So, let's uh, try and find out where I tore into it. There we go. Put that over there, and here is the box and let's have a look what we get. All right, I've got to a feign surprise on this one. Oh, what could this be? Ooh. Actually, I'll stop feigning surprise. Um, when I saw this, this was really cool because this box is gorgeous. Um, let me go see if I've got a few other boxes to hand. I do keep these out on display. Hold on one second. Just to prove a point, I'm not making up how excited I am about this. Look, I actually do have some um, sort of vintage mid-century uh, boxes, some which are maybe not in the best condition, but are still awesome. Got a couple of Squires, got an um, Eagle there, got Pilots, got an Illinois uh, box, uh, another Squire. Some actually have the locks in which is really cool. But yeah, I just love this sort of mid-century design. Uh, it's, it's really, really awesome. Let me put those down for a second. I'll put those back. But yeah, absolutely gorgeous boxes. And here is the lock. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I think it's a wafer lock. Um, made in Australia. Very, very cool. Very, very slight action there. Uh, I don't know where the locking pole is. It's not down this side, so it must be down this side. But yeah, I'm as excited for the gorgeous lock as I am for the absolutely beautiful box it comes in as well. Very cool. Okay. Then, oh, there you go. That's uh, Funky Monkeys, Funky Fast Draw Monkeys uh, YouTube channel and QR code. Obviously, Follow QR links at your own risk, but there it is. A sticker which will go on my pick case. Um, this, I haven't, as you can see, I haven't opened this at all. Let's uh, have a little look. Oh! I think I know what this is because this is the whole reason Funky Monkey contacted me. And it's super cool, actually, that he sent this to me. Um, it might just look like some normal pins and springs to you, but I know what they're for, and it's for one of these. 
a Lockwood V7. And this is a super cool lock. You might be able to see that this first pin is at an angle, not straight up, but like that. And that's because it has alternating rows of pins, just like um, in a V, you know, V configuration cylinder engine, like a V8. This is a V7. Uh, and you can see on the key, the cuts are uh, different on both sides as well. It's not a straight alignment. So you have one cut for one side and one cut for the other side, and it works really well, but this doesn't have the original pins in. This should have spool pins in, and if you look down here, there are some spool pins. Apparently they are alternating as well. I've got some information on how that should be. This is actually a miniature pinning kit for a V7 Lockwood, which are really, really rare, um, uh, even in Australia, I think, uh, because they, they they needed special hardware and they weren't popular at the time, but they are a very cool lock. So isn't that awesome? Got my own little pinning kit. I should be able to, with this, take out all the junk pins that somebody put into this and, um, and, and put in real V7 spools and key pins and hopefully, hopefully be able to do a better picking video of this with um, with some nice ball pins in. It's gonna be a fantastic lock to pick, I imagine, once it's all put together. And I think there's one last thing in here. Oh, oh. again, this looks like a, I was gonna say it looks like a, a modern a, a, um, Lockwood one, but, but it, it tells you on here, as I was looking at the key shape in particular it was very modern. Uh, Lockwood, what's this thing? Oh, it's gorgeous. That colour is absolutely amazing. It's like, um, it's pink, but with this sort of, maybe a slight metallic purple overhue on it. It's very hard to describe, probably won't um, be able to show off the really cool colour on this under my uh, lighting as, as I can see it, but um, it's very, very cool and probably quite a hard pick as well. What's this? This is a 214A40. And I think I might have picked a 214, but not this body shape, I don't think. That's very smooth action as well. Very smooth. Very thin shackle though. Really nice body. Very thin shackle. I don't wonder why that is. I think that's everything in the package, but since I wasn't expecting any more than a couple of pins, I think um, I've been really spoiled by uh, these absolutely gorgeous locks. So thank you to Funky Monkey so much for sending me not only the pins, but these amazing locks. Thank you to Jai for sending me this uh, 3D printed, unpickable Dissertainer design, which we'll look into hopefully at another point in time. And uh, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you all next time.